I'm Greg Anderson. I'm a, a podiatrist. And about six or seven years ago, I was doing a lot of reconstructive surgery on diabetics. With these surgeries, I would have to use what's called electromagnetic stem that would have a, a, a large coil that would shoot an electromagnetic force through the area that we were trying to get the bone to fuse. So this technology uses uh, electricity to create a magnetic field. The magnetic field then tricks your uh, cells into thinking that they're exercising. So if, essentially it makes their metabolic rate very high and they, they start to work very, very fast. And so as they do that, they can recover, muscles can recover faster, uh, gets more blood flow to the area, your blood cells uh, actually stop sludging, they stop sticking together. If they're all stuck together, they don't flow through your blood vessels very well. They um, also don't have enough surface area to transfer oxygen, pick up nutrients and so forth, start flowing more freely, that helps to heal tissues as well. But I noticed with bone stem that above the area we were treating, we weren't losing bone. We saw that the muscle was getting less atrophy. And when I saw this, I started thinking that this application should be universal and that it could be used for all kinds of problems. The electromagnetic stem device that I was using for surgery, it was one large coil that would just treat an isolated area. But I thought that if we made a bed that had many micro coils in it that would disperse electromagnetic force through the tissues, that it would be remarkable. So when Dr. Anderson came to me and asked me if I wanted to get involved in this and talked to me a little bit about it, my first response was, is that's already been done. There's no way that that hasn't already been done. And so I was very pessimistic in the beginning, and not because I didn't believe in the technology, because I believed in it wholeheartedly, but because I couldn't believe no one would have gone to the effort to protect it. But we did a patent search on it and found that there was nothing out there like what we wanted to develop. We were looking for something that virtually every person that goes through the aches and pains of daily life should have access to. So the most difficult thing about um, our ideas was finding someone that could figure out a way to, to manufacture. My name is Dale Gledhill and uh, my background is consumer product manufacturing. Several years ago, Dr. Anderson came to me and said, we need your help. If we could replicate what's happening on the outside of this bone stem, it would be amazing because it's making the tissue very, very healthy. After looking at these x-rays, we sat around a conference table, I still remember, in their office saying, if it'll do this on a leg or an ankle, just imagine what it could do the rest of the body. So I immediately assembled my whole team that we had with the previous company, a lot of smart guys, some were much smarter than me, said we need to recreate this. And after several months, we came up with this idea, we need these small microcoils to gently exercise and move the cells. We started thinking we could do a whole body blanket or even in a small scale, we could even put that technology in a boot in a boot, and this is actually an actual sample we built. It was incredible. Um, I was seeing patients that I had done surgery on one foot, exact same procedure on the other foot. One was treated with the boot and one wasn't. The extremity that was treated with the boot had remarkably less atrophy of the muscles over six weeks of non-weight bearing, less bone loss, um, recuperated quicker, had less swelling. So we were really seeing what we were hoping to see. Significant uh, improvement, quicker healing. But the more we thought about it, why just treat an ankle when this technology can benefit the entire body? So we really wanted to come up with a concept or a device that could cover everything. We've probably been through eight or 10 revisions until finally we end up with the web. On that process, Took us a long time, about five years or, or so, uh, to work through all that. During that process, we went to several major companies, um, two and three billion dollar a year companies, and they looked at it and they were all very excited about it too. But um, we kept feeling like we wanted to 
be able to get it directly to the consumer and not have this be some hugely expensive medical product. My feeling was that everybody should benefit from this. And this is the small version, we have three versions, and this is a flexible, flexible web that's embedded with all these micro coils and it, you see how it wraps around your body for shoulders or arms or legs. This product, the web, is generating this overflow area that we talked about in the beginning, this pulsing, soft, magnetic field that's actually moving or exercising the cells. And when I saw the web, I, I was blown away. I mean, it was an absolute game changer for us in the sense that it wasn't a bulky blanket. Someone could use this easily while they're just watching TV, sitting up, laying down. On a cellular level, this is really a neat thing to look at. You can actually see it very easily. So when they're separated, they have a lot more surface area uh, so that they can function better. If they're all stuck together, they don't flow through your blood vessels very well. They um, also don't have enough surface area to transfer oxygen, pick up nutrients and so forth. And so this device um, helps to separate them out, get them excited, get them working much better than they do on their own. I've seen it in you know, competitive athletes that undergo knee reconstruction and on the first surgery they did not have the web and on the same ACL tear, same knee, they used the web and the orthopedic surgeon said, I don't know what you're doing, but this is recovering so much faster than your first surgery, I can't believe it. As a spine surgeon, I can only help them one at a time. And with a technology like this, I can help a lot of people. And um, I honestly believe everybody uh, should have one of these. I can't think of a reason why they wouldn't want one and why they, they shouldn't really be using one every day. I've seen what's happened over the past few years. I've seen the testing, I've seen the results. I know how it's changing people's lives.